Jude, my six month old baby, has been to the hospital twice. Instead of letting myself process, I'm trying to comfort and be strong. Then I need to check in with myself. Making art is such a good way for me to process how I feel. I'm Jennifer Marie Keller. Welcome to my diary of an artist. My last two weeks have been difficult, <laughs> to put it mildly. Jude, my six month old baby, has been to the hospital twice. One of the times it turned out to be nothing, thank goodness, but the other time he had a stomach bug which made him really dehydrated, so then he needed help getting better. But he's all back to being healthy, happy, and just a ton of energy. But those last two weeks were rough, they were stressful, scary, and they were even, it was traumatic. <laughs> it was a weird time warp with my, my kid being sick. Things would go fast and slow at the same time, like waiting for the doctors to visit our hospital room or getting test results. I felt like that there was just so much time waiting, but still not really processing what is going on at the same time. Instead of letting myself process, I'm trying to comfort and be strong for both Eric and Jude. I know I can have this mentality to keep my head down, push through and get done what needs to get done, like with taking care of my family, which is good. But then sometimes I end up bottling up my emotions by not really processing what has happened. So once things did settle down, I got out my ink drawing supplies and started working on this drawing. Making art is such a good way for me to process how I feel. I'm not talking about like making an image specifically about how I'm feeling, but rather just the act of making something with my hands, something I can focus on for an extended period of time. It's such, it's just like a really good meditation for me. It's kind of like focusing on making a drawing lets another part of my brain be able to organize how I feel about something. Actually, I picked out this image to draw completely randomly. It just stood out to me and I knew that I wanted to draw it, but it's actually pretty relevant to one of the hospital stays that we just had because this is during the global pandemic with COVID and the hospital understandably has a policy about limiting the amount of people that can go into the emergency room so only one parent can go in with the sick kid. So I had Eric go in with Jude and that was so hard choosing to be separated from my baby when he was sick. And Eric, he was just the perfect protector in that moment. And I think he looks like Jude's protector in this drawing. While working on this drawing, I was able to get in tune with myself. I noticed that I needed to rest and recover both physically and emotionally. So these last two weeks have been hard and exhausting. So I've asked my mom who is newly COVID vaccinated to come and visit us. And Jude and I are about to pick her up from the airport. It just, welcome. <laughs> it's so nice having my mom here. She's making so much food for us and just packing our freezer full of meals. She made lasagna, mushroom soup, meatloaf, beef and barley soup, lemon mushroom chicken, chicken soup. And we're also taking advantage of our lemon tree that we have in our backyard because it's just like chock full of lemons. So she made lemon meringue pie, lemon bars, and then we both made lemon old fashioned donuts just for fun, which I think donut making is going to be a new hobby for me. It's also been really great seeing my mom play with Jude. I thought that her playing with Jude, this would give me a chance to get a lot of things done around the house and get a lot of work done. But instead, I just caught up on sleep, which was great. I really, really needed that rest. We even had some time to explore outside a bit and we made it to the ocean. And man, when you need restored, go to the ocean. I'm dropping her off at the airport now. It's sad to see her go, but she'll be coming back soon. Her visit was so good for me and Jude. I'm back to drawing and painting now and reflecting on everything once again. Sometimes I need to keep my head down and push through and take care of things over taking care of myself. But I also realized that then I need to check in with myself. And sometimes it's hard to get in tune with myself when I've gone through something really difficult. Making art is a good way for me to get in touch with myself. And then when I realize that things feel too much, 
it's necessary to take a break and ask for help.